our first ever pro women's game in Georgia. Um, we've sold 170 tickets online, expecting at least twice that in person. And this is epic, it's historic, we're doing it. There's that word professional that men were owning and using, um, and women weren't any part of that conversation. There, was, there were no professional women, and that was hurting women, especially as kids are looking up to professional athletes. Um, and it was also hurting us in our access to resources and our access to money. Um, so we were like, you know what, we need to insert ourselves into this conversation. <laughs> you are watching this stream that's why the fans bought their tickets if you're a kid that's playing ultimate that's how you do it oh and then there's something by Andrea Sparza. oh my goodness oh my goodness the unthinkable has happening. happened with Marissa Land looking for Katie Forth and she's just shy of the end zone for a streaking Marissa Land, I believe, a and blind. the torch win in sudden death overtime with multiple turnovers on that last point. Each team had the chance to win it. And the torch are the ones who come out on top in this most exciting of games here for our first professional women's ultimate game in Atlanta, Georgia. Did you just see that? Oh my god. I, no words. No words. We had 20 seconds left. And we were down by two. And we took a shot. We scored. We got the D with eight seconds left. Eight seconds. And Dre put up like a beautiful <laughs> floaty backhand. Michelle Arso cut it. Sunda. And then I don't know, I blacked out Sunda. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> 